What's up, dog? What's going on, my dude? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Feeling good. Feeling grateful. Just made that video. I just posted Ooh, a video uh, as I was just telling you about, but just chilling right here in my in my new spot, bro. Thanks. Yeah, you already know what's up with that. You got to have that that comfort zone slash spot to where you can be able to, um, yeah, be in your zone so we can get this shit, you know, knocked out and get that home run going and shit, bro. You feel me? Absolutely. That's what's up. Yeah, bro. bro. I'm just happy to be in here with you, man. Chop it up and uh, get into some cool shit. Yeah, to be on some real stuff, bro, me too, because, you know, the type of date, that I've had today is just, you know, like, um, I don't want to say it's like a raging bull moment day. Cause you know how we all have our days where, you know, anger can, you know, the level can be high as hell. You know what I'm saying? When, especially when you got a lot of shit going on and become overwhelmed with things. That's yeah. how it's been for me. That's how it's been for me today, bro. You know? So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, it's just been one of them days, you know? And yeah. Um, um, you know, it's just best to keep moving forward. And that's what I've been doing, you know, just moving forward and shit. And I'm happy to be in the studio right now talking about the shit that's going on, bro. You feel me? God's yes, good. Yes, sir. Did you, Ooh, did you try to do any type of transmuting? Did you bust the workout today? I bust a little workout, but I feel like it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. So probably after this podcast, I'm going to work out again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did a small one, but it's not good enough to where it felt like it reset my mind. You know, I feel like uh, the combination of this podcast with some water, with maybe another workout, will get you right back yeah. on track, my guy. Yeah, because I'm already starting to somewhat feel better just by being live right now, talking to shit. You know, so this that is where is I need powerful. to be. It is. Powerful. Man, listen, this is where I'm supposed to be, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, let me get that intro knocked out. You feel me, my dude? All right, let me hear that shit. All right, bro. Welcome to the Unchained Podcast, everybody. This is your boy, Spirit War Martin, along with his podcast partner, Sebastian. Ooh, we always put God first and become your inner lion in this crooked matrix and spiritual warfare, y'all. Boy, listen here. Boy, listen here. Ooh, we. Man, good to see you, bro. Man, I'm just happy to be in here and, uh, Talking to my boy. Man, tell me about it, bro. You know, um, yeah, the big homie upstairs is definitely grateful, man, by just, you know, giving us um the blessing of waking up every day. You yeah. know, that's a blessing of getting up and having life every day. That's the way I see it now. Cause yeah, looking at my old self, I was not grateful for shit. And now that I since I said that, it's crazy that I said that because it literally ties into topic number one. You know, for, uh, for uh, topic number one, bro. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. What are your thoughts? Okay. What are your thoughts on being grateful while on SR? Man, it's so essential. Um, I try to talk to people about this as much as I can, you know, especially friends, you know, it doesn't matter really who it is, dog, like, it could even be, you know, people that aren't on SR, you know, gratitude is just a very powerful thing in general. But uh, as far as on semen retention, I, I think it's absolutely essential because everything that we're experiencing is obviously amplified. So super important for us to keep our mind, bro, on a positive area. You know, I just made a video on this, bro, uh, mm -hmm. about keeping our mind you know, in the heavenly places and focusing on God and focusing on, you know, his peace and his joy and, you know, all the different blessings that he gives us, bro. You know, it's easy for us to get off track because the devil likes to come in and infiltrate our minds to the point where we start thinking all this crazy stuff, bro. We start thinking we're not good enough. We start thinking, you know, people don't like us. Uh, we start thinking crazy stuff, bro, whether it be somebody in your immediate life that's causing you problems it's like you get wrapped up in all this mm -hmm. bullshit and we forget that we have this divine loving god that is uh, always there for us and we forget to tap in with him bro and re uh, remind ourselves all the blessings that he gives us oh we 
Man, listen, you just, you snapped off on that, bro. Man, listen here. From my personal experience, yeah, looking at my old self, bro, you know, I was never grateful for life, it seemed. Yeah, I was operating in spiritual depth and plus, you know, producing a lot of uh, dark energy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, like I said in the um, one of my videos, I think it was called um, A Strong Mindset or I forgot what I named that shit, but I was talking about how I was in a band and was playing metal music and shit and was listening to that type of dark energy to where it yeah. literally manifested, it manifested, a, you know, a negative dark life. And I wasn't grateful for shit, bro. You know, over there, you know, like a, a power ranger or some shit for the kingdom of darkness. You feel me? Yeah, just the wrong shit. And um, now since I got on SR and, you know, controlled the lust, because that was the main thing I was operating in was that lust, bro. And that's some dangerous shit to be operating in. You know, and um, being grateful and tapping into God and stuff, you know, he shows he's showing me all types of shit that I've never seen before. And I'm grateful for it, because when I see this stuff that God shows me, it's like, how did I not see this before? You know, how did I not see a lot of this, you know, twisted slash crooked ass shit in the Matrix? You know, how did I not see that before? But I was obviously participating in that dark energy. And when you participate in that shit, you're not grateful and you don't see, you don't see what you're really doing. You're just doing it, you know? Like, as I like to say, just out here doing stuff, you know? And um, <laughs> yeah, you know, reading my Bible and putting God first and not putting my energy into individuals and shit, I, you know, I see it now. I see how, you know, dangerous it is to put our energy around the wrong individuals bro because they you, yeah your shit will get pulled down so far trying to please them you know trying to please individuals to where you forget about yourself you know and you you out here walking you know yeah no value to yourself you know not grateful for anything just basically putting this person on a pedestal and treating them like god and being grateful for them when they don't deserve that shit you know and now you put God first and you grateful every day you wake up and shit, bro. What's going on? God is good, you know, but that's what happens when you uh, cultivate that life force energy, man. Because like I said, man, I was busting nuts, you know, fire holes and shit all over the place looking at my old self. You feel me? And that's dangerous as hell to be like that. And looking back at that, it's very disgusting. So that's yeah. why, you know, it's very disgusting and it makes me way more grateful to be doing these podcasts and talking to other people out there in the world that's going through the same shit, you know, or people that's not on SR and try to wake them up, you know, to this to this situation slash phenomenon of letting your own semen travel up to your head, bro, and wake you up. To where you can just see, like, yo, like, what the fuck was I doing before type shit? You know? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. <laughs> like, oh, wait. It's a trip, man. For real. You will be very grateful and show a lot of gratitude when you are on semen retention, bro. And it's crazy how that shit is. But that's how it is. Right. Well, it taps you into God, bro. Ooh, that, 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 as we say a lot, you know, it's that spiritual Wi-Fi connection, my dude. Mm, the router, mm. the spiritual router gets turned on. You know, as soon as you start going on the street, I usually like to tell people that, like, for some reason, I, I, I for me, it, like, I really started to feel the different, like, the major differences, bro, after probably two weeks of being on retention. And then right. after I had 30 days, things really started getting crazy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it was like... uh just kind of, you know, just kind of increase from there. Um, yeah. But I like to tell people, you know, that little time period because, uh, you know, the two week span is pretty much, I would, that's usually what I recommend. You know what I'm saying? But dude, I was watching this uh, prayer last night, a prayer video, right? Uh, on mm -hmm. YouTube, I like to watch these kind of guided prayers because sometimes, you know, Sometimes I have a hard time explaining myself to God. It's like, you know, he knows where my heart's at, but I have a hard time, like, wording my prayer. So I'll listen to these prayer videos. And it's a gratitude prayer. And it was basically saying, um, 
you know, God wants us to uh, talk to him about everything, bro. You know, he wants yeah, us to do. be grateful about everything. And it's hard because a lot of people don't understand this concept. You know, they won't go to God and say thanks for, you know, you know, little things. Thank you for this freaking bottle of water that I have right here, bro. Own everything, you know, bro. Thank you for thank you for the meal. Obviously, a lot of people like to pray over food and things like that. That's a big one because food is what keeps us alive. Same with water, bro. So right. we got to say thank you to all these things, bro. Even little things. Thank you for the shirt that I'm wearing today. You know, for real. thank you for this cool shirt that you allowed me to purchase at, at, at one point in my life. Thank you for the ability uh, to wake up every single day. Thank you for getting me on this podcast with my boy Martin, bro. Like, for real, Ooh, you got to say thank you for everything, bro. You know, and, and yes. that's the thing about God is that he really appreciates all the little things. You know, people think that um, like certain things they don't need to go to God about, but God likes to hear about everything. That's what I've learned, though. You know, he likes to hear whatever. He wants you to just, you know, even if you feel like you're ranting and rambling about things that don't matter, God appreciates that because he just wants to hear from you, bro. He just wants to hear Man. from you. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, thank you for the slice of pizza that I ate for dinner tonight. Thank you for that conversation that I had, you know, with my homie earlier. Thank you for uh, allowing me to talk to my mother on the phone earlier. You know, it was a good conversation. You know, thank you, God. You know, he really appreciates everything, bro. So it's super important for us to get into that mode to where, you know, we're very self-aware and we can be talking to God really about everything that's going on. For real, bro. That's real important. Because, yeah, from my personal experience, you know, I'll be chopping it up with him about everything most of the time, too. But, you know, like you um said, it can become difficult sometimes because we get caught up in that storm that we have in our head full of thoughts and shit. You know, that shit yeah. is like a damn tornado and shit inside our head. And that shit can get out of control sometimes. But it's important to remember that, you know, the big homie upstairs is always there and that he he wants us to talk to him about this tornado and shit that we got in our head because yeah if if we don't talk to him about that you know it's going to be a bad situation for us and he's sitting back watching the whole time like this like you know i'm right here right why don't you just speak what you got in your head because i already know what you got in your head i'm waiting for you to talk about it you feel me i already know what you got <laughs> in your heart. and in your head i know this already i'm waiting for you to you know acknowledge me you feel me you know, acknowledge me and speak out what you got going on. And you not, you know, number one, you'll feel better about it. Number two, you build a bigger connection with the big homie upstairs. And number three, he will set it up to where the universe will bless you, bro. You know, he'll bless you with downloads, bless you with, yeah, gratitude, bless you with <clears throat> wanting to conversate and help other individuals out there, you know, and raise the vibration. You know, yeah, the big homie upstairs is a selfish dude, bro. And when you sit down and have these meetings with him, it makes him feel good. You know what I'm saying? Instead of acting like he doesn't exist and stuff, and then we try to take stuff into our own hands, and that's when, you know, chaos happens. Right. You know, that's why it's important. Whatever you got on your mind, somebody do you bogus or whatever the situation is, talk to the big homie upstairs because it's like therapy. You know, you don't need individuals to talk to about you know, shit that's going on because they're going to make you feel like shit and disregard, yeah. disregard what you got to talk about. But when it comes to God, the universe, the big homie upstairs, oh man, they been listening to you talk about everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? They listening to everything and they don't make you feel bad about it either. You know, that's what I like about yeah. um, chopping it up with God and the universe because it's powerful shit bro and you know it's important that we all tap into this aspect for our own well-being and shit because when it comes right. to individual when it comes to individuals in this earth realm you're going to be disappointed yeah hey i really like what you said bro about uh you know when maybe say you go through a period of like a spiritual attack and you're not feeling like that much gratitude or maybe you're feeling like shame because you haven't really tapped in with god in, in, in a little bit of time however long you right. know what i'm saying so what i've learned is that god really appreciates if say you go like two three days and you really haven't been praying you know you haven't really been praying or 
doing what you need to do. You know, mm. uh, you can come to God on that on that day, whenever it is. You finally, you know, surrender and you want to tap in with Him, bro. Like on a direct basis, you could say, "You know what, God? Uh, I'm sorry, but as you know, you know, I've been going through it the last couple of days. I haven't been Oof. willing, or I haven't really been in a spot to be talking to you because." of all these attacks that's been going on. And I know that you know that I've been getting attacked. So I'm right. sorry, you know, but you know that I love you and you know that I'm I'm here and I'm always going to, you know, come tap in with you. But that's the reason why I haven't been talking to you is because I've been going through it. Right. And that makes them feel good. You know what I'm saying? When you go throughout that period of time where you don't, you know, chop it up with them or communicate with them and stuff. Oh, he knows. You feel me? That's like being a little kid. Pretend, yeah, like we talked about this before, bro. Like being a little kid out in your backyard playing in the sandbox and your parents is looking at you out the window and shit. You know what I'm saying? In the house, they watching you play out in the yard. That's how God is, bro. You know, we are all his children. So he is like literally watching everything we do and knows what's going on. He's just waiting for us to be honest with yeah. him and talk, and talk about the shit that we got going on with us, you know, because he already knows, you feel me? The big homie upstairs is, yeah, like I said, sitting back watching shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he already knows. So he's waiting for us, yeah, to tap in with them, bro. But, you know, it's a lot of individuals that just doesn't, they don't look at this aspect and see how powerful it is, but it's very powerful. But right. in my personal It's almost like a... Oh, go ahead, bro, my bad. It's almost like, you know, like with that yard analogy, it's like we're out in the yard, right? And maybe like right. one of the neighbors comes over or something and he's still watching, you know, through the windows and shit. And the neighbor comes <laughs> over and we get into like a little scuffle, you know, that'd be like a spiritual attack. You know, he sees yeah. us over in the corner of the yard under the tree or some shit. And he sees we're getting into it with the neighbor. We're going through it, you know, into a scuffle. Maybe you might get beat up. Maybe, you know, maybe he'll he'll give you a black eye or something. Right. But he's still watching, bro. He knows exactly what's going on. The what he what what cares to him is that afterwards we come to him and tell him about what happened and ask him, you know, to help us or, you know, tell him what's going on. Tap in with him because he knows what's going on. Like you said, Ooh, he knows wait. everything that's going on. Man, listen here. He be sitting back just watching boy. I don't even want to get into it. He be watching everything. I mean, he watches all that, all that stuff, bro. You know, and now that I'm tapped in, it's like, you know, doing the right, doing the right shit, it makes me feel good, you know? And when I stumble across a situation where it's like temptation or tempting, I just don't feel, I don't feel right in my spirit when it comes to that shit anymore. You know, when I, looking at my old self, I used to fall to temptation very easily, but now it's like, dude, I can't do it. You know, and I just can't do it no more. It's not the same because I put God first now, you know? Yeah. Hey, bro, hang on one second. I got to unplug this thing real quick. Go ahead, bro. You're good. Much, much love to all the fellow retainers up out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here and chop it up with y'all real quick while Sebastian got to grab something. You feel me? You're already back. You know? This uh, refrigerator right <laughs> here was loud. I could barely hear you, bro. Oh, man. All right. How's it now? Is it better? It's good. We good. All right, man. That was a good topic, bro. And that was just topic number one. And we snapped off. Yes, sir, man. Topic number two, bro. What are your thoughts on nocturnal emissions? Well, you know, that's just like the last episode. You know, we talked about how, you know, the the devil's trying to come at us and, and attack us in our sleep, bro. You know, Woo. with different types of um, man, sexual temptations and things like that. You know, in our dreams, uh, trying to get Ooh. us to bust Ooh. off in the spiritual realm because he knows that we're too strong here in the in the physical realm. You know, it's like he'd be bringing me a lot of weird weird dreams, bro, with all these uh, you know, women and you know, lifting up their skirt and showing their titties and things like that just strange stuff going on you know it's like my ex-girlfriends random women bro trying to get me to bust one off and i definitely earlier in my i haven't had a, a nocturnal emission in quite a while but i definitely had a couple early on 
in the journey and it was always just a strange strange feeling afterwards dude you know i know you have a little bit more experience with this one let me hear what you have to say oh we listen here bro this shit is a deep rabbit hole for real you know the last nocturnally mission that i had bro it was my ex-girlfriend from high school and shit you know what i'm saying we was in like a random house bro i don't know where we was but wherever i was in the spirit world this house was there and we was up in there and shit and she was literally trying to get me to smash bro but it was like this this succubus spirit you know it like shaped itself into my in the shape of my ex-girlfriend to where it was like trying to fool me you know but it was really a, a you know a dark ass spirit obviously a lustful spirit trying to get me to uh fornicate and uh bust off in this a dream but throughout this process it's like i was not going for that shit because yeah. i already knew i knew what it was like in the dream i knew what the hell was going on and i was like i am not going for this shit you know this dream contaminated this hill right now and i want out you know what i'm saying like bro <laughs> like that um that lucid dream i had bro when you was in the food court and shit you remember that? And then I was yeah. at this house with these these females and then that brunette that was sitting on the couch that was staring at me and shit. You remember yeah. that? And then a homeboy yeah. that I was with with the braids, who whoever this dude was, was in the bedroom talking to another chick. And I told bro that I was ready to go out of the dream. And then he asked me what the Izzo was all about. You remember <laughs> that shit? Yeah. Yeah, bro. how could I forget that? when you have control of your dreams or yeah when you're on sr and you're in your dreams they're very strange and a lot of mine i've been able to control them but the yeah. shit has been strange bro and then when i come back to the earth realm i'll be sitting there trying to you know fathom or think about what the hell just happened in the spirit world and shit you know yeah it's a deep it's a deep rabbit hole with nocturnal emissions um dreams in general you know because you're traveling elsewhere Mm -hmm. you know a whole different ass place that we can't see right you know <laughs> crazy as hell bro yeah bro my my dreams on sr are just a lot more vivid in general you know i have a lot of different types of dreams i have a lot of like yeah, yeah i told you about that that one where you know i'll, I'll have people that are like trying to kill me and things like that you know it's definitely Ooh, some wee. demonic shit going on because they're having a hard time getting to us in the physical realm bro Right. So they got to try to get us in whatever fashion, try to knock us off our, our square to get us. You know, it's all a, a, a tactics to infiltrate our mind, because I feel like when we get back to uh, being awake, <clears throat> you know, there's that residual subconscious programming going on from whatever happened in the dream. Yeah, that's how it is. Like you go to the spirit world and shit and whatever happens there and you come back to the earth realm, it's like you got residue and shit. You got residue on your mind of what happened. So it's like going to potentially manifest in some, into something negative here in this earth realm and shit, you know? Right. It's, it's a damn trip. You know, that's all I got to say. And SR just, it puts you on a whole different atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, far as that spirit world goes, you know? Yeah, bro. It, in your sleep because these nocturnal emissions and shit you know sometimes that should be unreal to me bro you know it'd be unreal you know hey, you it's know, a trip i remember i had three of them back to back early uh early on yeah Th three nights ago bro yeah they they was after you bro they was literally trying to get you to bust off because your vibration was way too high here in the simulation yeah. program and they can't it seems like they they envy that shit like crazy. They want you to to lower your power level, you know, yeah. because you're you're too strong spiritually, bro. Bro, you know what I've noticed? <clears throat> I had a lot of um. Obviously, the attacks they come, you know, still quite frequently. But I've noticed, uh, and maybe this would be good for some of the viewers uh, to relate with. But I've noticed that in the beginning of the journey. You know, I remember when I first like get a couple weeks and then I'd relapse, get a couple weeks, week to a month. It'd be like in the first two months, I feel like those kind of attacks, they happen a lot more frequently because they know they're like, oh, we can't let him get past this point because once he's past this point, he's just going to be cruising. 
Yeah. You know, so it's like they, they get you in the beginning stages because they know that you're putting in that effort to start retaining on it. You know, they're like, you know, oh, shit, you know, he look, I, I could tell he's got like a long street plan. You know, we got to We got to get him. We got to get him now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. we, we can't let him, you know, if we don't get him now, he's going to end up getting like, you know, 90 plus days or he's going to go, you know, a whole year. We got to get him now, you know, yeah, because bro. it's like in the early stages, bro, they'll hit you with the lustful dreams, hit you with, you know, all types of images on Instagram, social media, trying to get you to bust off, bro. You know, it's like bro. they know where you're headed. So they're trying to take you out. Man, let me tell you something here. I forgot to mention this, you know, on Instagram, I got another random request from another random chick, bro. And it really? seemed robotic, robotic again. Like they just hit you up out of nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who is this? And what do you want? You know? <laughs> and you just hit me up out of nowhere and shit. You know, I ain't even said one word to you or, you know, yeah. messaged anything to you. I don't, I don't know who these individuals be, but this is like the third time it's happened. Mm -hmm. You know, while being on SR, I've been getting random, not uh, not notifications, but um, requests. Followers you know, from from female individuals out there that I don't know. You know, it's yeah. like they, are you talking about followers or what? Um, whoever they are, bro, they send a request for to you know to follow me or from you know for to follow me and me follow them. So it's like they want to be, be my friend or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, like yeah. I, I think it was a female escort again. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of them, bro. I feel like when you go on SR, they they there's a lot more. They, I, bro, I got Dude. like four of them yesterday. Like, what the fuck is it? Do do they like smell the SR through the damn phone or what's going on? Bro, I feel like there's some there's some agents on the on the Kingdom of Darkness that can. Uh, you know, they can energy scan just like us, but they're actually have they have ill intent so it's like they they can probably feel our aura and our power level just by our pictures so they're like oh we gotta bro. take this thing down you feel me yeah that shit crazy as hell bro like they literally yeah. see your pictures and they'd be like oh yeah he has a lot of he has a lot of energy i can just see it in his face you know or look look at his glow you know <laughs> very bright. you know i want to see yeah. what he's all about you feel me like look, they over there looking hard as shit you feel me like i want to see what he is all about because he is he is too confident in his pictures. He is too bright. You know? Boy, listen here. Yep. They see they the glow. They're like, damn, who's this guy? You know, they see the potential. They see where we're headed. So they're trying to take us out. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Man, that was a good topic, bro. That was deep as hell, bro. Uh, for topic number three, bro. What are your thoughts on Jezebel spirits? Man, you want to start that one out? Yeah. From my personal experience, you know, I didn't understand what Jezebel spirits were because I was just, you know, people pleasing, trying to get a nut bust off, trying to fornicate, looking at female body parts. Like I said in the last uh, podcast episode, like New York strips, you know, like pieces of steak, carne asada. You know, whatever you want to call that's meat. I was looking at females like that, not knowing that I was basically like damaging myself and the type of spirit that they had on the inside of them. You know, yeah, I wasn't looking at the spirit on the inside of, you know, some individuals out there and was getting myself, you know, spiritually drained by these these Jezebel spirits and stuff because it's like they um they just want to get something out of you. It's nothing spiritual, it seems, you know, and they want you, they want you to bust as well. They want to take your energy. That's what it's like. They want to take your energy, you know what I'm saying, and run with that shit. You know, they want to take it and run with your energy, bro. And it's all, you know, I don't think that they're aware. I don't know if they're aware of what they do. It's all spiritual. You know, they yeah. see a, a dude that is confident in himself and they want to, um, yeah, basically take his energy and his confidence away by making him bust and lay down with them. Because you know, like, we lose our energy when we lay down and smash these females, but when they do it, they absorb an energy and shit. You know, so it's like, we lose and they gain type shit. Right. And that shit can be dangerous as hell sometimes, bro. You know, and we have to 
literally look at the spiritual aspect of whoever we come across because it could be a Jezebel spirit. It could be any type of negative spirit. You know, it just, we have to be, we got to use them Johnny Bravo sunglasses like we supposed yeah. to, bro. You know. Yeah, bro. Ooh, we. The, uh, you know, when I first heard about this term, you know, it definitely interested me because yeah. it made sense, you know, <laughs> off the rip when I heard this. And then I actually looked it up and in the Bible and what it actually means. Right. That Jezebel spirit is somebody who is uh, a controlling woman. You know, they have like Ooh. a controlling spirit and yeah. they use their lust to reel men in. You know, they mm -hmm. use their like, you know, they'll be wearing uh certain types of clothing like that harlot attire that people like to say um they'll wear uh you know they got cleavage you know they got the titties out ass out and they're they're reading with a look you know lots of makeup maybe some fake eyelashes you know lipstick and uh maybe some even go to the extent of altering their body you know getting fake tits and getting the bbls and the fake ass oh we uh, it's all that shit, bro, you know, and at the end of the day, I feel like there's different levels of Jezebels, you know, there's the really bad ones, and then there's ones that are still participating in it, you know, but they're not as bad, you know, it's all the same right. shit, though, you know, it's like, <clears throat> there's a difference between um, a wholesome woman who, you know, is a spiritual woman, believes in God, and then somebody who's, you know, like that, you know, some people like to say for the streets, you know what I'm saying, where yeah. they're just... It, and it's 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 crazy because it's a lot of the women today, you know, so it's like it's hard. It's kind of hard for guys like us to be going around. And when we're living like this and we just want we just want a nice, wholesome woman who who's going to, you know, a feminine woman who's going to compliment us in our masculine role and, you know, be a be a good partner, a strength of, you know, of love and, and, and nurture us and help, you know, be our partner in life, you know, but, right. you know, you got a lot of women that are, you know, participating in this alternate agenda to where they just want, you know, it's all about sex, you know, they just want to get laid, you know, they just want to, they're the same way, you know, they have, they have the same kind of urges as we do. So, you know, they are the ones who are attracting all of this attention because they're the ones you know they're the gender that is uh you know they're the ones that they're getting all the attention bro you know they're the they're the they're the more beautiful of of the uh of these human beings you know women are very beautiful you know god designed them that way so it, it, there's a lot of them that are using that beauty to Ooh, take advantage of, of guys you feel me listen here my dude you stumbled upon something there um yeah, they use, you know, it seems like, you know, yeah, a lot of, not, not all, but, you know, a lot of female individuals out there use their body parts. Yeah, like you said, their body parts to manipulate and take advantage of, you know, us men out here. And we be just falling for that shit. I'm talking about drooling, you know, like some dogs and shit, you know, yeah. just falling for falling for this and not realizing that we are destroying ourselves in the long run and putting individuals on a pedestal who don't deserve it over you know fornication and you right. know that's the type of relate that's the type of relationship you will build is a fornicating relationship you know just smash and like we said before smash watch netflix um eat food eat eat ordered out food or something it's nothing spiritual to it and it's like repeated toxic behavior to where you two yeah it's just sexual bro it's no deeper aspect to it and it's it's like spiritual death. It is. Yeah. It's like op operating in lust for real and fornication instead of um, treating each other like, you know, spiritual beings, you know, something that's bigger than just a quick nut bust off or, yeah, fornication, like I said. Because looking at my old self, that's all I was about, bro. Wanting yeah. to smash a bunch of wrong individuals out there, the Jezebel spirit, you know, and give them my energy for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you look at like, you know, we got to look at like the modern, you know, the modern woman, a lot of them are, are these Jesuit women, but then the modern dude is also participating in some bullshit too. You know, I have so right. many friends, bro, 
like even just my roommate right here that I, that I go to the gym with on a daily basis, uh, not a daily basis. We go all pretty often though, but you know, he's my homie. He's not, I saw but you know, he's a cool dude. And I talked to him, he smashes all types of women. And I try to, you know, he knows I'm on SR and stuff like that. And he, you know, low key, he respects it, but he also thinks it's weird. You know, he's like, you know, I gotta have, you know, my pussy. I gotta, I gotta be smashing women all the time and stuff. And I just, you know, sometimes you just gotta agree to disagree with some people. It's like, you can still interact with someone if they have a good spirit. You know, that's how my relationship is with him. But he's, he's hooked on dating, on the dating uh, apps, bro. He goes on them literally, you know, I'm pretty sure he told me that he smashed four girls in four hours the other day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. So it's Ooh, just wait. like there's a difference. Like, and I'm not just, I'm using him as an example. I'm not trying to harp on this man, but it, it, a lot of guys are doing this, bro. It's like right. a lot of guys like this are, it's like their mind just revolves around getting laid. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a whole different way to operate. You know, when you're focusing on God, that, that stuff kind of takes a back seat you know so it's just difficult because a lot of the world's operating like this dude you know the females are being very lustful wearing a lot of different uh clothing and stuff and they're you know they got this whole thing where they're trying to attract us with the way they look and not with their spirit you know for guys like us you know we're looking for women that have a wholesome spirit you know what i'm saying we right. connect with spiritually bro you know that's that's really the most powerful love that you can attain with another human being is when you guys form that spiritual connection first you know the physical stuff we doesn't matter bro that stuff's like kindergarten you know just like sex is like you can have sex with anybody but can you connect with someone on a spiritual can you connect with someone who understands your mind i mean that's so much deeper than than that physical connection mm, mm, mm. oh we yeah it's it's very deep in the way society got shit set up. It's like they don't want nobody to have a, a deeper connection, you know, with each other. They just want mugs to just smash and move on to the next and create as many soul ties as possible. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about building a whole ass city, a whole city of soul ties and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that stuff is not good, bro. It causes way more, you know, toxic energy in the atmosphere when you have you know a lot of individuals out here just casually sexing it up you know and it's nothing bigger or deeper to it you know anybody could just have sex and smash the shit is easy to do but the consequences of that shit you know is pretty serious bro you know yeah yeah it's, become, it's irresponsible behavior bro it's because god does not god doesn't want us to be doing that it, we're, we're we're like out looking like animals dude oh we yeah looking at god my wants us stuff. to be god wants us to have self-control bro that's one of the spiritual gifts that you get you know when you come a child of god is self-control he wants us to be like stoic and have self-control like you know the way that it is people are out here doing whatever you know, it's like they have no control. They have no focus on, you know, how they want to operate. They're going to eat right. whatever food they want to eat. They're going to go have sex with all these people, uh, assume all this garbage content on social media, whatever it is. If they're not self-aware and mindful of the shit they're doing. You know, it's just like, right. oh, like, we're just here on this planet. We're just going to do whatever they, you know, whatever is available, I'm going to take part in. You know what I'm trying to say? Oh, yeah. I know what you're trying to say. It's a lot of disorientation going on. You know, yeah. a lot of disorientation amongst the people. You know, a lot of Agent Smiths. You know, a lot of, you know, individuals with their face turning off fast and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of disorientation and double-minded shit going on out here, bro. And we can't be operating like that, you know? When you jump over that fence you know, and operate with the big homie upstairs. That's a whole different ball game, bro. I mean, a whole different ball game. You over there. Yeah. You operating different, bro, but it's for the better, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, my dude. That was a good topic as well. Uh, topic number four, bro. What are your thoughts on people wanting to get back into your life while on SR? Well, 
<laughs> I think this correlates a lot with uh, what we talked about on the last, you know, as far as like, when you start doing the right things, um, you know, it, it makes you magnetic, you know, first of all. And also, you know, I believe that uh, semen routine gets you into a spot of uh, detachment, you know. Uh, our boy, uh, High Vibrational King, the video, I watched that shit this morning, bro. And it was about uh, how detachment and not caring, you know, makes more attractive and things like that. So uh, I feel like when you go on our... You know, people are going to be picking up on the fact that, you know, you're all you're driven now. Obviously, they're going to see that you've changed and you're doing different things, but they're also going to see that you're not like hitting them up as much and, and doing all that type of stuff. So it's like that also makes you more attractive. So people are going to want to come into your life because they can just sense your new energy. They can just sense they're a new person. They can sense that you're focused and then like you know the proof is in the pudding too because they're going to be seeing what the fuck you're up to bro so it's like it's hard to hide that kind of stuff so essentially they're going to see that you're leveling up so of course they're going to want to come back into your life oh wait yeah they see that you leveling up and that you're operating yeah way different you have way more confidence to yourself you're not uh people pleasing you're not hitting people up to see what they're doing because you're worried about your own shit now you know, and when you worry about your own shit that you got in front of you, oh, man, everybody want to see what the hell going on with you now because you're not worried about them no more. You know, you done tapped into your inner self now and you see how powerful it is and how more beneficial it is for yourself and well-being, you know, as opposed to, you know, people pleasing and hitting people up and putting your energy elsewhere. You are putting your energy into your craft now and going straight up. And you putting God first as well. And he keeps, uh, the thing I like about God, he's going to keep supplying you the, the energy and the confidence, but you have to stay tapped in with him. That's what I, that's what I like. Cause that's why I yeah. chop it up with him so much. Whenever I don't chop it up with him, that's when I literally feel off. And then when I talk to him and shit, bro, that's when I feel better. Literally after talking to God, bro, the universe, I feel better, you know, literally like a therapy session yeah. with, with the big homie. You know, um, oh, we, and when people see that, you know, when people see that you are about your shit, they're, yeah, they're going to want to come back. And I just yeah. find that to be how I'm very ironic because you was just treating me like shit or acting weird to me before. Now that I'm doing my own thing, you want to see what I'm doing. Ain't that funny? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I've had a lot of old like people where like say I'll you know someone will hit me up and we'll just get to chopping it up and then I just start talking about my life and you know where I'm at. You know they can feel the energy through a conversation. So you know your vibration is gonna uh, rub off on them. And then they're gonna start asking. You know all of a sudden see all these people asking you a bunch of questions and stuff. You know they turn into a damn detective and shit. Like what you know, they want to ask you all these questions. What do you think about this? Can you help me with this? Like, it's like, where is this coming from? Right. Like, yeah, where, where is all the yeah, where is all this coming from? Because it was not in the forefront before, but now since you know, yeah, when you put energy back into yourself, man, yeah, people become detectives over your life. You know, they didn't care about you before, but now that since they see you putting in work and doing valuable shit you know and connecting with people out there in the world now oh man yeah they want they want you to pay they want you to give them attention now all of a sudden you know they want you to they, yeah they want your energy that's what it seems right uh-huh it's not hard it, it, it's hard it's hard to hide uh, when, when when you like start leveling up it's kind of hard to hide that, that energy. you know people notice that shit they notice when you start to start doing things right you know especially if they've known you in the past, you know, like you say, see, I mean, for guys like us, you know, we both have a pretty detailed story about how we were pretty damn stuck, you know? So guys, you know, like, uh, people saw that shit, bro. So Ooh, at the same wait. time, it's going to be even more intensified for, you know, anybody who has a past like that, it's going to be more intensified for you because the old version of yourself is like a different, person. you know, they're going to be seeing you now, especially mm -hmm. if you're really, you know, tapped in, like, I got old friends that have seen our podcast, heard our podcast, and seen the videos. They're like, damn, man, like, really, you really changed, bro. Like, old friends are like, wow, I can tell that you really changed. Like, this, 
it's a trip seeing you like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know when they when they see that shit, right? Yeah, when they see you make the change and start doing better shit and you know different shit. Oh man, that's that's mind blowing. Yeah, it's literally you're blowing minds right now, bro. And I'm doing the same shit. You know, I'm doing the same. Obviously, because it's you know old individuals that I used to associate with, you know, back in the past that I know is watching my YouTube videos and seeing me make moves, and they're probably mind blown as well because the way I used to be, I used to yeah be blackout drunk and wanting to get get it, you know, wanting to get intoxicated and messed up all the time, you know. And now that I'm not doing that, mugs is just like yeah, I don't even know this guy anymore. Well, I'm kind of glad right. that you don't know. I'm kind of glad that they don't know who I am anymore because that old shit, I had to kill it. Yeah. You know? And it's all a testament to God, bro. I'm just sitting there thinking, you know, all the credit goes to God because facts. literally all of this shit oh, that has come about is from connecting with God. I can't take credit for any of it, bro. The only thing that I, I did, the only thing that I did was have the strength to start talking to the big homie again, to have the strength to connect with him again, and to have the right. strength to start getting the Bible, bro. That's Ooh, all I did. Man. Everything else, everything else has unfolded through him. Yeah, that's how it is for me. You know, the big homie upstairs. You know, he's setting it up. You know, he's making all the moves. All I got to do, you know, what I make sure I do is stay dis. Put him first every day. Get my armor on and stay disciplined and keep doing the right shit. You know, yeah, because he sits back and watches that. And yeah, just doing the right shit, bro. When you do the right shit and not get distracted, bro, God will bless you and he will hook you up. You know, I can't take credit for none of this shit either, bro. A lot of this shit that's going on, that's all the big homie upstairs. I'm just making sure I move forward every day, you know, and stay disciplined and keep doing the right shit and the big homie will do the rest. Yeah. You know, God does the rest when you just you on that narrow pathway doing the right shit every day and staying disciplined. And God likes that. He likes when your life is simple. You know, not catastrophic. He loves it, bro. Yeah, not he catastrophic. He loves what we're doing. He loves it. I mean, he's with us right now, bro. He he literally arranged this episode to be filmed himself. So, you know, God's right here with us. Oh, you know he right here. You know the big homie is, yeah, he's right here and always going to be. You know, God is good. Ooh, we. That was a good topic, bro. You know, people will want to come back into your life when you're doing the right shit, bro. Ain't that something? Yeah, bro? makes sense. Yeah. I would want to get back into, I would want to get to, you know what I'm saying? I would too. Ooh, ooh, man. Great topic, bro. Topic number five. What are your thoughts on connecting with like-minded individuals on the SR journey? I just looked at my clock right after we were saying God's in the room. It's 4.44 right now. You know what, what I'm is saying? It? What time is it? 4.44. For real, bro? Right now, I'm looking at it. Wow. Divine <laughs> timing right now. Mugs is protected. You feel me? Listen. Sir, I don't even... So, can you repeat the topic, bro? I didn't hear it. Yeah, I'll repeat it. That's crazy. You know, yeah, we are protected right now with the 444 and shit, bro. Ooh, we. Facts. All right, man. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, let's let's do this again. Uh, topic number five. You ready? Yeah. All right, my dude. What are your thoughts on connecting with like-minded spirits on this SR journey? You got this one? Yeah, I'll, I'll start off. Yeah, um, from my personal experience, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. It's connecting with other individuals through my YouTube page and podcasts and stuff because the way I felt, man, when I was in a toxic relationship, you know, for like eight years, I felt like I was alone because the individual that I was in a relationship with, I couldn't talk to them about shit, you know, so I would have all this shit bottled up with inside me and it created, it made me become toxic and... um. I was, yeah, like I said, I wasn't able to vent or talk about shit that I had on my mind. And now since I'm on SR and got a YouTube page and been able to talk about things that's on my mind, make videos and be able to create, you know, create and have other individuals out there appreciate the shit, it feels good. Because, yeah, we tend to get into relationships that don't appreciate us as men. 
You know what I'm saying? Or just in people, period. You get in a relationship where you're just not appreciated, but you will, you got your whole heart all in that shit, but nothing is growing out of it. So you're basically just killing yourself with these individuals who don't care about you or what you have to talk about, you know, yeah. and getting single and getting on SR and making YouTube videos and, you know, connecting with my subscribers and all my fellow SR dudes. That shit is beautiful to me. And obviously, you know, it wouldn't be able to happen without God. But it's the best thing that ever happened to me, bro. It's just being able to talk to my people out there. You know, that's what drives me is my yeah. people out there on my YouTube and shit, you know? Yeah. Man, and it's it's especially important for, for guys like us that are in this category, too, because you know how we alienate ourselves when you go on senior right. attention you get alienated bro it's like you separate yourself from the, a majority of society you know going on semen retention and then putting god first that combination of getting into god in such an intense fashion bro you know what i'm saying and get in, and then also going on sr you're doing Ooh, stuff that 98 percent of dudes are not doing you know so it's super right. important for us to have each, have each other bro to be able to communicate with and bounce each other out i mean that's why we're making this podcast to help mm -hmm. other people get into that mode too so they could feel connected to us because we know in our hearts this is a serious path to be on you know we know where we're at so we're the only ones who know about this shit bro you know other other people like i know you feel me but you can't talk about sr to um other people in the world like regular that, that are on sr you can talk to other people about god you know what i mean but at the same time it's still you know kind of a touchy subject so yeah it's super important for us to have each other you know it's it's been a definitely a game changer for me it's a source of strength you know so when i'm going around and like that's why i say bro every time when i have somebody you know, even comment on my videos that means a lot to me bro because i know that they digested what i had to say and mm -hmm. we're connecting and i just really i'm just very grateful for anybody who hits me up in comments and, and we can talk bro because at the end of the day it's just us communicating on some on some real shit on some super real shit you know this stuff is super powerful dude so super important for us to have each other bro you know with that i don't know if i'd be able to be at this point i don't know where i'd be without all you guys bro no oh, we preach it my dude preach it up because to be honest i don't know where i would be either if i didn't have my uh yeah my like-minded individuals out there on this sr journey that's you know on that um that is on that lonely pathway of building your spirit up bro you know and building your relationship with god and building your mansion you know, building your mansion, you know, in heaven or whatever you want to call this place we go after we leave here, you know, you're building a spiritual mansion up right now by right. Doing, good deed, doing good deeds and um, bringing the light to dark situations, you know, uh, yeah, just connecting with other individuals out in the world in general, bro. Mm -hmm. you know. Ooh, we know. That was a good time. That was all the retainers, man. Facts. Tell it, bro. Preach. <laughs> All right, bro. For topic number six, my dude, the grand finale. What are your thoughts on a possible alien invasion coming up? <laughs> Man, I've been, I, I've been, I've been on this, bro. You know, I've had people that uh, have been calling me crazy, calling me a conspiracy theorist, but you know, I have, you know, my own experiences with with certain people and certain things that uh this alien thing man I, i've been talking about this since i was a kid my dad i remember my, my pop right. was talking to me since i was a kid bro, since i was like five years old you know he would always ask people you know you think there's life out there and my dad always you know would tell me he, he he believed in aliens out of it you know when i was a young age this was like back in like early 90s my dad was talking to me about aliens and shit bro so I've always been into it, but certainly uh, within the last few years, things have ramped up. You know, I've had some definitely experiences. I've had people already literally tell me that they're an alien, bro. I've had running into human beings that tell me that they're aliens and shit. You know, it's hard to believe that 100%, <laughs> but uh, I, I believe that uh, 
I honestly believe that that there's other people from other planets that are already here. You know, straight up, people might think that I'm crazy, I, but I don't care. That's just a belief that I have. So, I just think that it's gonna get crazier as far as like, you know, like a real invasion to where it's like on CNN type shit. You know, breaking news. Right. You know, there's aliens here on the planet. You know, who oh, knows yeah. what's gonna happen? You know, I know God's got our back. You know, because there's always right. that possibility of that they're going to be malicious or malevolent or whatever you know who knows what's going to happen but uh hopefully that it hopefully it's a good experience bro I, i'm i'm here to embrace it you know i don't care what they look like if they if they can interact with us in a loving fashion you know i'm, I'm i will embrace it and i'm down to i'm down to be friends so you know that's how i feel i'm, I'm cool with it she, you know, I, I'm cool with it, too, because I've always felt like I've had some type of connection to some type of extraterrestrial, uh, you know, force or, you know, group of individuals, because I would have daydreams all the time when I was younger about spaceships and aliens and shit. You know, I would have daydreams about this shit, you know, so that obviously must be the universe telling me that I'm fascinated with these beings or something at an early age, you know, and. It seems like ever since I got on SR, he just taps me into this, this so-called alien invasion that they keep talking about and all these UFO sightings and shit. You know, yeah. there's so many people out here in the world that is recording shit in the sky right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, all types of shit. You got funny looking clouds and shit. You got all types of lights that's in the dark. You know, when it's dark outside, you see all types of lights that's beaming in the sky. You got... Yeah. It looked like two two moons and shit now. You know, it looked like we got two moons and shit now. Like, it's all types of crazy shit going on, you know, because it's a planetary shift. And I feel like, yeah, it's a planetary shift of the vibration in the atmosphere. Is, you know, it's rising right now, it seems. You know, it's yeah. rising up right now. And a lot of people are waking up to this shit. You know, it's a lot of spiritual awakenings and shit happening uh, as well right now. Uh, yeah. with a lot of individuals out here so that's another red well, now i don't want to say it's not a red flag but it's uh it's an alert that something big is about to happen especially if it's a lot of people that's got that's having the light bulb go off and shit now and i'm one of them too oh yeah there's some shit going on bro you feel me you know we don't know when it's going to be or what's going to happen but something is going to happen my dude yeah you know and I'm all for it. You know, I don't mind having an alien homie and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what his name going to be, but hey, shit. If it comes to the point to where I can chill with him, oh, yeah, I'm going to learn all types of shit from him. You exactly, know? bro. You feel and me? That's what I was telling to, uh, you know, my boy Mark. Shout out to Mark, bro. You know, shout out to Mark. We talk about aliens all the time, bro. All the time. Yeah. You know, we talk about all different kinds, you know, the grays, uh, the, the, the Palladians, uh, you got the shapeshifters, the reptilians, mm -hmm. there's all different types that could potentially be in the mix, my dude, you know, um, so that's what I really think that uh, is going on. I think they're already here, you know, I think they're disguised in human form, whether they're shapeshifters or whether, whether they are uh, people from different planets, you know, I, I think there's also, you know. I've had people describe to me that they're just like us, you know, like the humans, like there's good ones and there's bad ones. So like there's, there's ones that could potentially be causing harm, you know, in the kingdom of darkness. And then there's also ones that, that are here to help push, uh, you know, a good message of love and, and how to be more, uh, you know, empathetic and compassionate and spreading love, you know, trying to raise the vibration of the planet because, I've heard from a lot of people that like our planet isn't necessarily uh, up there as far as vibration wise, you know, we're like, you know, we talked about it before, but we're in the third dimension a lot. We oscillate between the third, the fourth and the fifth dimension. So that's right. how we, you know, we feel like we're tapped in to that four and five dimension. You know, it's like, we're, we're in that same dimension that maybe these other beings are used to being in. So they come here and they're like, wow, all these creatures are in the third third dimension it's like we're almost like you know i don't want to sound negative but we're like pets or some shit you know we're like very like you know we're still like 
cosmic beings and we have like spiritual intelligence and things like that but i guess compared to other beings you know we're kind of low low on the you feel me we're, we're yeah you know but we have the potential it just takes more work that's kind of you know it takes more work for us because you know yeah. we're used to 3d so we got to put in that work and you know train our minds you know start getting tapped into the cosmos on a daily basis to strengthen our spirit and we can access that fourth and fifth They're absolutely right it takes it takes work and it takes a lot of self-care because yeah you know planet earth you know is definitely low vibrational you know so when we have these extraterrestrial beings come here and they land and shit you know they energy scan and shit and they like man you know, even even the strongest power leveled individuals here is weak, or they on a low vibration. You know, we got to help raise this shit up. You know, yeah. and um, I feel like extraterrestrial um beings and races and shit are just like us, except they're more advanced. Because you know, for us humans, we got good ones and we got bad ones, and we yeah. got weird ones just like them. You know, they're just on a sway higher vibration frequency and yeah. more advanced, but they got good ones. And they got bad ones, and they probably got weird ones as well, bro. You know, they just right. like us, except they're more advanced. You yep. know, way more advanced, but they just like yeah. us. And it's up to us to work on ourselves to where we can tap into that shit. You know, mm -hmm. it's you almost know, like it's almost like they have a stronger connection to the divine power source. That's what it is. You know what That's saying? exactly what like it is, they bro. They have more access to uh, like they get like stronger downloads like we can still get them but it takes more work that's kind of what i've been picking up on is that they're they have a stronger connection you know they're closer to god and the divine power source like when i met yeah. that one girl bro, that told me that she was an alien and shit you know i haven't told too many people that this uh this interaction but this girl had like uh i don't even know how to how to explain it but her skin was almost like a lightish purple color bro like it's hard to explain beautiful woman, bro. beautiful girl and i was talking to her on the street and all of a sudden she not i'm just going to try to keep it brief but she basically told me she was an alien and shit she told me she was from a different planet and all this shit and she basically said she couldn't tell me too much information right but she could tell me some things she basically said you know, I tell that you're one of the good ones. You know, you have a good heart and I could tell you're very intelligent and you're tapped in spiritually. And all this stuff was hitting. I was like, okay, damn, you know, tell me more, you know? And then right. she basically yeah. said that she was here and that there's a lot of others here that are not from this planet and shit, bro. And they're here to literally, like what was said, they're here to raise the vibration because she said that our ancestors were so fucked up that they basically ruined our planet. So I was like, damn, I was like, I already just, you know, you're on point. You know, I feel like I've already figured this stuff out by, by myself, but it, it, it means a lot that I'm hearing it from you. You know, this girl that claims that she's an alien, she's from a different planet. I, I still to this day, I don't know if it's true, but the stuff that she was saying was on point. It was almost like it was almost like she was confirming your your the way you felt in your thoughts. You know, it's yeah. like you manifested, bro. Like you was already thinking about this shit, but you manifested an individual to basically tell you what you already knew. That was a form of confirmation, bro. Exactly. You know? It's like she was like an angel of some sort. Right. Yeah, it was it was a spiritual connection between that, especially if they coming up to you telling you that they are extraterrestrial being or alien It's something deep yeah. behind that shit. You know, when it comes to, you know, some individuals, they look at that and think that it's just absolute crazy, you know, but you have to have an open mind and think outside of the box when it comes to this crazy place we live in, bro. You know what I'm saying? This this this, this shit we live in, bro. Anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we can't exactly. be. We got to be open to that shit, you know? And not everybody is open to it, bro. You know, like you some people, me? like like that girl told me. She's like, you know, I can tell that you are tapped in, you know, more than most people on the planet. So I'm comfortable revealing Talking stuff. to you. Right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we, bro. That tell that, that she energy scanned you. She said that you, yeah, she felt your energy, bro. And I'm pretty sure, you know, I, I, I can relate because I definitely, um, uh, be thinking the same shit as you bro you know yeah. i just haven't haven't come across the 
a cool ass, you know, individual that is operating way different and way on a bigger scale of vibration, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like you just like, like you, like you ran into, you know? Yeah. Cause think about her trying to talk to some other people, like maybe some low vibrational dude or like, you know, some of these people on our planet, you already know the kind I'm talking about materialistic ego central type person who's just, you know, lost and shit, you know, if she go and tell them, you know, hey, yeah, I'm actually, you know, from another planet and, you know, your ancestors fucked up the planet and all this stuff. They would be like, what the f they would, they would be tripping, bro. Yeah, because they're in the third dimension. They can't fathom the fourth and the fifth dimension. So when you tell right. them this out, when you tell them this out of the box information, oh man, they just can't fathom it. They can't fathom it, bro. They can't no, understand they it, bro. They would have a crisis, bro. And, and that's another thing why, uh, uh, you know, all this stuff isn't being revealed is because we can't handle it. The majority of humanity couldn't handle this information. Guys like us right. can handle it. You know, we, we could we could process this. And I'm sure we'd probably be shook. We'd definitely be shook at the information. But at the same time, we could process it. And we can handle it, bro. Yeah, absolutely, bro. You damn right, bro. Big homie upstairs is good, man. Um, I I gotta go. Let me uh, I drank a lot of water. I'm gonna go run to the bathroom real quick, bro. I'll be right back. All right, sounds good, bro. All right, bro. Be back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to all the viewers, man. As always, you know we got a lot of love for you guys. Probably gonna wrap this episode up as soon as we get home. My uh, my roommate just got home as well, so I'm probably going to take a little second here. I'll be back when Martin gets back. Oh, we. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. You feel me? I had to go drain myself, you know, so I'm going to sit here and chop it up with y'all, you know, until Sebastian come back, you know. You know, it's just a, it's a blessing to do this. You know, it's a blessing to be chopping it up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And much love to all the fellow retainers out there that is on this SR journey and, you know, self-development journey you know, to better ourselves out here and raise the vibration, as we like to say. You know, that's important for all of us, bro. Operating in that third dimension slash low vibrational frequency, that's some dangerous shit, bro. You feel me? We can't be operating like that, my dude. You know, none of us can. And that's important. Raise that vibration, hey, hey. bro. I had a little interruption as well. Yeah. <laughs> My roommate and I, uh, he wants to play some basketball, bro. So we might want to wrap. Oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, we can wrap this up. You know, that's fine with me. You know, you about to go play basketball and I'm about to go work out. Ain't that something? Let's get it. Let's get it. Moving. Hey, much love to all the fellow retainers out there and everybody that's been riding with us on this journey and, you know, supporting our podcast and our YouTube pages as well. Um, yeah. coming, from Spirit, coming from Spirit War Mark, you know, we got to ride together in this shit, bro, you know, and keep bringing each other up and riding together on this journey. Yeah. And Sebastian, bro, good job to you, man, as always. And I'm just grateful to be here with you, bro, doing this shit, you know? Yeah. Real shit, bro. You too, man. Great job on this episode. Bro. I got a lot of love for you, man, as always. Got a lot of love for all the viewers, listeners, man. You know, this is just a blessing to be to be doing this stuff, bro. This is a blast getting on here, man, and talking about all this real stuff because I don't talk about this kind of stuff to a lot of people, man. So right, super super grateful to have you, man, and to be able to be doing this, bro. On everything, bro. That's a blessing, man. That we can just have, you know, this platform that just openly talk about these things, you know, and not be judged about it. You feel me? Nah. 
it's because we're doing it in this form it's fashion you know we're creating a piece of art my dude this is this is like creating a you know podcasting is is an art form so it's just a blessing man all praises go to god the big homie upstairs i know that's right bro oh we god is good man all right, all right my dude man. i'll wrap it up for us all right all right buddy all right y'all we appreciate all you guys that have tuned in everybody that's been commenting liking subscribing you already know what's going on this has been the unchained podcast episode 81 We'll talk to you guys next time, man. Much love. Martin, I will be talking to you, my boy. All right, buddy. Sounds good. Yeah, as soon as um as soon as you get a chance, email email me that that uh this uh video. All right, G. I carry you, but uh, I'm signing out. All right, buddy. <laughs> Much love. All right, buddy. Oh, stop.